All right, so here we have a problem. It says uh, tail walks 50 degrees uh, northeast for 120 feet and then walks 80 feet to east. And we want to know how far and at what quadrant bearing is Tia from her starting position. So we're going to approach this and in, in, in kind of by separating into two, two different quadrants and then putting them together, right? So the first one, notice how they're telling us that this is quadrant bearing because we go north and then we go towards the east by 50 degrees. So if we kind of draw a vector for that, it, that vector is 120 feet and it is 50 degrees east of north, right? So we need to kind of break this into component forms, right? So we need a y, we need an x. And remember, we need to know this theta to be able to break it up into component forms. And so to do that, the difference from 90 makes this a 40 degree angle, which means that this y component, this vertical component is going to be equal to y is equal to the magnitude, which is 120 times sine of my angle, which is 40 degrees. And then this x component, this horizontal component, is equal to the magnitude, so 120, cosine of that same angle. And so that's going to give me the, the components for, for each one. And so then the second part of the second vector says, and then she walks 80 feet due east. So 80 feet due east, all that's saying is that she didn't go either uh, north or south she literally went straight east right and so if she went straight east then we can kind of assume that our vector went straight that way for and i think she says 80 feet 80 feet uh, and so we kind of try to make um sorry not degrees 80 feet um and so we try to make this into its components well if you think about it for y my angle here is zero degrees and so even if i tried 80 times sine of zero well sine of zero is zero so that means this whole thing goes to zero so there's really no y components the x component is kind of the same thing but this time we have cosine of zero where cosine of zero is one and so here my x component is simply just 80 feet uh, and, and so from the second vector the only thing that that the second vector offers us is this horizontal component not really a vertical component right because it didn't go up or down it just went left or well, in this case right and so what we want is the resulting vectors right so we want to put both of these two vectors together and see where we end up and so to do that we first draw the first vector which is roughly that right and then the second vector means we went this way and so what we want is what we call the resulting vector which is uh how far did she go right so we're, we're, this is what we're calling r and so from here we're able to break this part into more x and y values right so here's my y component right so now if we think about it we said from the second vector we got no y components from the first vector, that's where we got our, our height, right? That's where we got our y component from, which we said was 120 sine of 40 degrees. This x component is, we get the x component of this first vector, right? So we get this part here, which we said was 120 cosine of 40. And then we're also going to add the x component of this second vector, which we said was 80 feet. And so what we have here is we have this right triangle that we know two right so we know two of the two out of the three sides so we know and essentially we know our a and our b right and then so we're looking for how do you find the hypotenuse and to find the hypotenuse to find this r we simply take the square root of whatever your y squared plus x squared is and that's kind of how we get our r right that's how we get the hypotenuse that's how we get the magnitude of this length that's how we're going to get how far um tia walked and so we put all that in the, in the calculator and we get an r value or a hypotenuse of 188.44 feet so how far did she walk she walked 188.4 four feet total or i'm not, not sorry now how far did she walk how far is she and so this tells us how far she is from her starting position right so it tells us the distance from here 
to this endpoint here, right? So it tells us how far she is from here. Now, the second part is we want to know at what quadrant bearing, right? So we got to figure out what is this angle here, right? So what is that angle? So to find that angle, we need to know two sides, which we do. We know the if this is my angle, then this is my opposite side and this is my adjacent side. So a trig function that relates both the opposite and the adjacent is tan or tangent and that we said that was opposite over adjacent and if we want the angle we want theta then we simply do tan inverse to both sides right and so my opposite side we're going to call y my tan it, or my adjacent side is x right so whatever we get for those components put in the calculator uh take the tan inverse of that and we get 24 we'll round it to the closest degree we get 24 degrees so that tells us two things so if this is 24 degrees remember quadrant bearing means you're going to measure from the north or from the south and so if this is 24 degrees here in order for it to be quadrant bearing then that means we're going to have to measure from the north and measure that way to get to those 24 right and so the difference from 90 means that this angle this bearing uh angle is going to be 66 degrees and so the way we write it is we're going to go from the north and we go towards the east of 66 degrees right and so my two answers are here which is she is 66 degrees northeast and she is approximately 188.4 feet from where she started.